Ladies and gentlemen, you've been asking for it, and today we're finally going to start doing it. We're going to be covering full armor sets in Monster Hunter World. Today we're going to be covering the Sword and Shield with the Devil Joe full armor set. Now we're not going to be mix setting any of this, so it is going to be full armor sets. You don't look like hammered ass, and a lot of you have been asking for that, so it's finally time we got into it. Now the Devil Joe armor is very good for the Sword and Shield, and I had a lot of fun testing this build out. I have made three different versions of it and that is actually just changing up the gems we use as well as the charm and we're able to do quite a few different things now this build does do quite a bit of damage and we're able to constantly stun with this build as well which is really nice and then we still have part breaker which will make farming up materials very easy as well so i'm actually in love with this right now and i'm probably going to be using this as one of my go-to builds i forgot how much i love the sword and shield i might not be very good at it right now because i haven't used it since i first started the game but another nice thing about this is if you do happen to get hit there is speed eating on this build so you can instantly heal yourself up and then get right back into the fray this build is a lot of fun to use and it's incredibly pleasing to be able to continuously stun the monster and being able to heal yourself instantly is a really good bonus perk of it and i've just had a lot of fun with this now we are going to be going over three different builds using decorations and stuff like that and different charms so hold on to your panties we're gonna go ahead and get into it now i hope you guys all enjoy it and let's actually get into the equipment All right, so we're going to go over the support version of this build first, which is quite good. And I really like this for when you're responding to SOSs. And as you can see, the damage is still really high. The Devil Joe armor set is really, really good for the sword and shield. Let's go ahead and get into this. Now, this isn't as optimized as you would get from a mix set, but at least you're not looking like hammered ass. But let's go ahead and take a look at the skills here. We've got wide range level five. So every item you use will be able to hit all of your allies at 100% efficiency. So with speed eating level three on here, you can pretty much instantly heal up your party, which is just freaking amazing. We've got Weakness Exploit level 3, then we've got Latent Power level 3. Now the reason that we're leaving this at level 3 is because that we're actually not really wanting to take that much damage. And the thing about Latent Power is you have to take damage to get it to activate, and it's not going to be as active as Weakness Exploit is. So at least with this, we're going to be hitting 80% affinity when Latent Power activates. Which basically, after the negative affinity on the weapon, we're going to be hitting for about 60% affinity, which is pretty damn good. You know, I'm, 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 I'm happy with that. And we got Handicraft level 1 to get us up to the white level of sharpness. Part Breaker 1 for a 10% extra part damage. Free Meal, which is really good when we're using Speed Eating and a Support Build. Because 25% of the time, it'll not actually use up one of the items. So you'll actually be able to have more items more of the time so it's, it's it's useful especially if it procs a lot sometimes it doesn't proc at all which is pretty annoying but it is what it is then we've got speed sharpening one to actually be able to get back to the white level of sharpness just a little bit quicker now you can actually swap out the gems that we're using a little bit um depending on what you're doing now you you don't have to use satiated if you don't want you can put another grinder jewel which is probably what i would do because i'm not too worried about you know actually getting that free meal but a lot of people like it so i put it in there now you can swap out the grinder and the satiated jewel if you so desire. Now unfortunately we're not able to get protective polish on here without losing maybe tenderizer. So you can do that and go ahead and go with 30% affinity from a weakness exploit and 30% from latent power. Um, that, that's definitely an option if you so desire if you really want that protective polish on there. But all in all the set is pretty decent and it doesn't take too long. We'll go ahead and show you how long the white level of sharpness will last. You know, it's not amazing, but this is what happens when you're not using a mix set. It's a little bit harder to min-max things, but all in all, it's a pretty decent set. Let's go ahead and just do a little bit of attacking here, and uh, there we go. There we go. So it doesn't last too long, but the damage decrease between white and blue is 10%, so you're going to want to keep that white level of sharpness, but at least with one grinder jewel in here, we're able to sharpen them just a little bit faster. Now let's go ahead and go into the next set, which is more of a damage-oriented set. Now this does come in two different versions, basically just swapping out a charm. We'll go ahead and go over the first one first, which is using the Exploiter Charm. So we are using 
the Devil Joe beta for all of this. That way it gives us the most variety in gem slots to be able to change this around drastically depending on the gems that we do use. Now that is for all of the sets. Now for this we are using Weakness Exploit 3. Part Breaker 3, so this is really going to be your farming version of this, so that way you can, you know, break heads, tails, all the pieces that you need to get gems and stuff like that. It's going to be really useful for that. We've got Latent Power Level 3, Speed Eating 3, Speed Sharpening 3, which is going to make keeping that white level of sharpness significantly easier. we got Critical Eye 1, which you can swap out for whatever you want, and then we've got Handicraft Level 1. Now all we've done is just swapped out the Exploiter Charm, we're still using the Fatal Bite. Now if you decide to use a different Sword and Shield, I really like this particular Sword and Shield, it does quite a bit of damage. Um, but obviously if you've got a Sword and Shield that has more gem slots, you're going to have significantly more variety in the way you can build these out. So just keep that in mind, if you're using a Sword and Shield with some gem slots, you can really change this up and min-max it just a little bit better. But this is the only Sword and Shield I have other than the Poison one, which I don't even know where it is. There it is, Royal Rose, which only has a one slot gem slot, but depending on what Sword and Shield you're using, you can really min-max this just a little bit better. Now, as far as our decorations go, you'll see that we've got the Tenderizer, Handicraft, and then we've got three Grinder Jewels and an Expert Jewel, as well as two Destroyer Jewels. Now, this Expert Jewel, you can swap out for whatever you want. Um, you've got a little bit of options there. You can go for Vitality or go ahead and just use the free meal again, or you can even put a Dragon Jewel in there. Now, this is for a more Part Breaker build. Now, what you can actually do is swap out the Charm and go ahead and go with something just a little bit better, in my opinion, which we can go into. Now, you see we're using the KO Charm, which gives us level 3 uh, Slugger, which gives us Stun Power plus 30%. Now, with this, you're going to be stunning a ton. Now we're still able to get one level of part breaker on here as well as latent power three so it's pretty much exactly the same we've got an attack boost gem in there but as i said that's that one gem slot that you can swap out but all in all this is much much better i like the slugger because i love stunning monsters and if the monster is stunned and laying on the ground flopping around you're going to be having an easy time breaking those parts anyways now that being said if you don't want to use the full devil joe armor you can swap out one piece of armor to make it significantly better and it's not really going to change the look of it at all either we're going to go ahead and use the dragon king eye patch now with this we can really min max this set a lot better and it really honestly i think it looks better than the devil joe helm with the set anyways that's my opinion and it's going to make this set significantly better so let's go ahead and go into these skills here now with this, we've got Weakness Exploit level 3 still. We've got Slugger level 3, Latent Power level 3, Speed Eating 3, Speed Sharpening level 3, so we can keep that uh, white level of sharpness quick. We've got Handicraft 1, Part Breaker 1, and Protective Polish with this. So very nice. Now with the Speed Sharpening, you don't have to keep Protective Polish on here. We can actually go ahead and, because of the grinder, you can really sharpen your weapon just stupid quick. It's like, I really don't think you need Protective Polish with grinder on there. When you have speed sharpening level 3, you can do it so quick that it's really not going to affect you too much without having sharpness. Now, obviously, if you have protective polish on there, then you're going to be able to keep that white level of sharpness for for a minute without ever losing any sharpness, which is very good. So it's up to you whether you want to use the sharp jewel. If I was using the sharp jewel, I wouldn't use grinder, and I would probably just go ahead and either put vitality in here, or I would actually go with... I have three... Uh, critical jewels in here somewhere i don't know where they are they're gone my life is a freaking disaster nothing is ever around when i need it to be there they are the expert jewels so i could go ahead and put three expert jewels in here if i wanted instead of the grinder or i can go ahead and swap out the protective polish for another destroyer jewel which will actually give us two levels of part breaker and that's probably what i would end up doing is i would run weakness exploit three slugger level three latent power three speed eating Critical Eye, or not Critical Eye, but Part Breaker level 2, Handicraft 1, and Speed Sharpening level 3. Now that would be my optimal version of this, that way you're stunning the crap out of things and breaking all of their parts. So you can see if we've got Grinder level 3 on here, we don't have Protective Polish, but with all the other skills, you're going to be just really devastating things. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I really, really like it. Oh, we're going to miss. And blech, terrible. But the nice thing about Grinder is, basically... Oh, no more white sharpness. Go ahead and sharpen quick, and you're back in the fight. 
Now, it's 100% up to you. I like having Slugger on here more than the Part Breaker, and that's just my personal preference. But I really like this build. Now, obviously, if you're using a different Sword and Shield with more Augmentation slots, then you'll be good to min-max this just a little bit more. But this is a full-on Devil Joe set that I wanted to show off. So, obviously, you guys are free to change it up just a little bit if you desire. Or, you know, I, I really like this build. I don't think it needs to change too much. As, as far as a full set goes. Now, I am going to be focusing on some full sets for each of the weapon types, and I'll probably be doing something more along the lines of, like, doing a hammer with maybe, like, two or three different full armor sets, but I felt like the Devil Joe had a lot of different options in it for the Sword and Shield, so I just focused strictly on the Devil Joe armor with this particular build. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and if you have any recommendations for future videos for full armor sets, definitely let me know in the comments or in Discord i do have a link to the discord in the comments below so feel free to check that out and message me on there if you have any ideas but anyways that is all i've got for the episode i hope you all enjoyed it if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoyed it don't forget to support and smash that like button and as always i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye